Hello everyone, Noshat here. In this tutorial, we'll see how to add Firebase Analytics to an existing Xamarin Forms application. So let's see how we do that. First thing, we need to go to the Firebase console and click your project you want to add the analytics to. Next thing, you need to go on the analytics on your left hand side and click on the dashboard. And then you have to enable the analytics for your project. So once you do that, click on project overview and then project settings. And then you have to download this Google Service.json for your app. And for iOS, you have to download Google Service Info.pst. And then click on your shared project. Manage NuGet packages and browse for a plugin called plugin dot firebase analytics so the third one from the list called plugin dot firebase analytics by fmiyu and then add packages to all our projects click ok so the new get package has been added let's now see how we could configure this for our iOS and Android app. Let's first look at the Android setting. So we click add existing file and then browse for Google service.json. I've already added so for you make sure you add that. So once you say open you say copy the file to the directory and you say okay. And then the next thing you click on this Google service and then for build action, make sure it's Google Service.json. Also, make sure for your Android project, the package name matches with this console package name. So, what you could do, copy this package name and come within your Xamarin Android app and click on properties and click on Android Manifest.xml and you paste this for your Android project and for iOS we do the same thing right click and then say add system file and then we add this Google service and info.plist and we say open and copy the file to the directory you say okay I've already added so I'm not going to do that and then for the build action make sure it's bundle resource inside info.plist make sure your bundle id matches with your console's bundle id for example the bundle id has to match so you could simply copy this bundle id and then paste this here and save it and now let's see how we could configure this uh, firebase analytics within our android ios and shared project so let's look at the developers site how we could configure that so inside ios appdelegate.cs we need to copy and paste this code so inside this finish launching method we simply paste this firebase.core.app.configure and for Android inside main activity.cs we have to copy and paste this line of code. So we simply copy and change the bundle that to save instant state. So that's it. This is the only two things we need to do for iOS and Android. And now let's see how we could log event from our existing Xamarin Forms application. So on this student detail page we are deleting a student from a real-time Firebase database and updating a student from the real-time database. So we could simply log an event calling this cross Firebase Analytics dot current dot log event and then passing this parameter. So I'll simply copy and paste this code. So basically I'm going to import this 
for parting dot firebase analytics so this cross firebase analytics dot current dot log event class takes two parameters so the log name and the parameters which you want to pass through your method so we could simply use this predefined string list or we could give our own uh, string so for this case we say delete student and we could pass parameters like first name and we could give our student first name which is coming from the view first name dot text and we could also do this for the last name and we could give the last name of our student like this there is another way of passing this log using this dictionary key pair value so it's up to you whichever way you want to do it we could also set the user property like this so for example uh, update student we could log this uh, user property like this one update student and we could give the student's first name and we could also set the screen name so inside our constructor we could simply copy and paste and give our screen name so that takes string as okay, so we could do student takes page For the value, we simply pass this student details page as well. We save it. So, this is how easy it is to log an event using this plugin. So, let's now run this code on our iOS simulator and see how it reflects within our console. So the app is running now. The first thing I'm gonna add few student data to the real-time database. I'm going to add few more of the same data for testing purpose. And when I click onto a student, that takes me to the detail page where I've added the Firebase Analytics log event. So if I delete the student, it's going to delete the student data from the real-time database and that should log the event in our analytics as well. So I have deleted and updated few of the students from within our application and now let's see within our console how it reflects. So now if we go in the console and click on the stream view we could see users within last 30 minutes is one and then if we click on events it gives us 104 events that's been generated through this uh, real-time firebase application also for users if we click on trending it's gonna give us the OS version which is iOS 14.2 and for the events if we click on trending you could see the most number of views are this screen view which is our constructor so if we click on firebase screen class we see the student details page which we find within our constructor also we could see this custom render that's been generated through xamarin forms and also we see the user's location the app version so sometimes it takes a while to get this uh, real-time data within this stream view so make sure you re relaunch your application a few times and then you see these uh, events are coming within your console application but after a few days you start seeing these uh, log events 
started to show on your events uh, tab so you see the most top log events like I was fiddling with add to cart, app remove and click one, two, three, stuff like that. And inside your dashboard, you end up with your active users, the screen class, the location of your user, the platform of your user and all sorts. So that was it on how to use Firebase Analytics within a Xamarin Forms application. Uh, please do check my previous tutorial on how to add, delete and update any student data using a real-time Firebase database. If you do like these tutorials, make sure you like, share and subscribe. And I should see you on my next tutorial. Take that. Goodbye. Thank you.